Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 19th through the 25th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. Bam. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the fool, really opening up to a situation, taking a chance possibly, but really feeling like, okay, I'm going to go do this, you know, like all of the elements align for you to, to step into something here or wanting to at least. In the recent past, the temperance card, the chariot, the magician manifesting there's a manifestation that's coming through but it's coming through fast like you're you're putting something out there in the universe bam it slaps you back i don't know what kind of i have no idea what happened here but i do see you having this uh manifesting energy attached to you here in the current situation the eight of cups the high priestess the queen of swords Ooh, you're leaning more towards practicality by the looks of it. There seems to be a little bit of disconnection from your intuition, from whatever's speaking to you from inside of you, and you're appealing to the mind here. You're like, okay, let's get logical about things. Um, in the immediate future, the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, there is a practical energy you're dealing with by the looks of it. At least in the future, it presents itself that way. It looks like as you step into this energy, you're actually leaning towards this other energy that you're possibly putting something together with here you know there's something you're building together so kind of like meeting halfway there in the same energy let's see let's clarify let me clarify the fool Strength card, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords. Yep, 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 yep. Open-hearted. Takes a lot for you to step into this place of let's take a chance, let's open up and let's see where this goes. But you're doing it. You're showing up generally in life in this energy at this time by the looks of it. So I don't, I don't feel like it's tied up to one particular situation. It's more of a how you present yourself in general. Cool. Let me do the Temperance card in the recent past there. <clears throat> the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Wow, okay. Love. Love being built up here, possibly attached to another person. I do see another energy in there. So there's definitely a sense of... At least as this situation started, building up in love, you know? And and more towards how you felt about it, how you saw it building up and where it was gonna go. Let me do the chariot. The Knight of Wands, the Justice card, the Queen of Swords. These are great energies coming together here. There's you again. I don't know, something came together here, but it looks so fast, like it's not even funny. Like, almost like you don't even have time to process it, how fast it's coming together. Uh, and I'm looking at what, what's sticking out as the temperance, which would lead me in the opposite direction of fast, normally. But for some reason, I'm getting this as, you know, like a, like a friggin' marathon in here. Like there's something showing up, it feels good, everything's right, and then the response to it is instantaneous and really on the same page. I wonder where it went, because I don't see it sticking around for long, though. That's the thing. Let me do the magician. Yeah, the Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, yep. Yeah. 
just as fast as it came in, that's how fast it changed from how it presented itself initially. So something did tie up quite right here in between you and another person. And then as much as you wanted to, to go off of these energies in your manifestation, there's confusion, there's hmm, doubt that's setting in, and then there's the change, the change into something else. So I don't see that lasting long. Let me do the Eight of Cups in the current situation. The Judgment card, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords. You're upset with love, you know? As, fa as fast as this came in, and as fast as it went out, it kind of pissed you off by the looks of it. You're like, you know what, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I don't really care. Blah, blah, blah. You're arguing with love and with me about love. And then I see the deception in that because, you know, okay, I understand. You're a little bit upset. That doesn't mean, you know, you don't want love. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. You don't. But you like. But you don't. So, Okay. For some reason, you're choosing to, okay, I'm not going to go in the direction of love anymore. I don't need that. I'm fine. Okay, let's get our shit together and let's be practical about things. Okay? Okay. Got it. But that's why you're disconnecting from your intuition and everything that has to do with feeling your way through things. Uh, for the high priestess, you get the eight of swords, the five of pentacles, the sun. Yeah, and it's scary. It's scary to stay attached to your intuition. Imagine what you could do. You could feel happy. Um, yeah, there's fear here. There's all sorts of, all sorts of things that are popping through your head from your head, basically, you know, cause you're not allowing for your heart to come through and guide you through this. You, you, again, you're pissed off with love. So I get it, but that would make room for fear to come in and to tell you, yeah, good for you. So happy you're pissed off with love. It doesn't bring you anything. It changes things. It's ew, ew, ew. Love, happiness, ew. But that's the fear. And that's the mind telling you that. And beyond that, there is happiness. But you have to feel it, you know, with feelings, not with the mind. So for some reason, you're shutting down, basically. Uh, let's do the Queen of Swords. But you don't want that either. That's the problem. Make up your mind, Gemini. Uh, seven of Swords, the Moon, the Hangman. Yeah, you don't want that either. Because you, you've been there, done that. The, the practical way, the logical way, the only the mind way, eh, doesn't really work. But right now, the hard way doesn't work much. You're, you're allowed to be upset. You're allowed to be like, okay, fuck love, you know, for five minutes there. But then you gotta understand, you still need your heart. So... You know what I mean? You're, 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 you're good here. You're good. Because again, you're showing me, I don't want to be in that place only either. So I don't want the mind to run the show either. I want to find that balanced place. And I get it. For some reason, it's not showing up as happening right now for you. And even if this energy is not feeling great, just allow it to be here for a minute. You know, instead of fighting with it. It's gonna result in some other energies that are not. They're gonna feel even suckier than the, these ones. So you might as well just kind of let it come through. Be pissed off at love if that's what you want to do. Don't want to be run only by the mind if that's what you want to do. You know, you are looking like you're actually taking a step back. Energetically speaking, you're kind of like, okay, let's let this shit show run its course, kind of a thing. So you are looking like you you're doing that uh, ultimately, you know, when things get a little crowded here in terms of energies. Uh, let's see the Knight of Pentacles in the immediate future. The King of Wands, the Temperance card, the Page of Pentacles. Gemini, I keep seeing this for you. And I know if you've been watching for a while, because it keeps on popping in, in the same kind of a thing. And I remember it's you. Because uh, I know I've got some comments there. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, but I don't see anything. Well, if you're looking for it like that, you're not going to find it. And it's not coming when you are expecting it to come, this energy. And it's not coming until you're ready to see it. And I, that's why I have the feeling it's already here for you, this energy that approaches you. 
it's looking like it's slower these days, but it's slower because remember, you're closed off here. How are you gonna see it? You're not. So I don't know, passionate energy, good energy, very grounded at the same time. So it's, it's a good mix between stable, passionate, I don't know, it's a good energy that keeps on coming your way. And then you get pissed off and, oh, why can't I see it? Well, with that answer, you're not going to see it. You know, if you have that kind of approach to it, where that means you're not ready for it for some reason. And again, I feel like it's already here. For the Eight of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords. Well, things are starting to settle down a little more, uh, and I feel like it's more tied up to, not even to your heart, but to whatever goes on in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there's something where your focus is at, I don't know what it is, if it's work, if it's something, something where you find yourself at, thinking about all the time, that's where you're at here. And it's it's... This situation has been going up and up and up, and it's been going up and up and up even when you were here in these energies of a little low. Um, so things are starting to calm down a little bit, and you're starting to see what is going up and up and up for you, you know, what's working out for you. And then you notice this energy right here, which is quite a good one. I, again, I'm not sure... I don't see it specifically tied up to one particular situation in your life in terms of one area of your life. I could see it applying to work. I could see it applying to something closer than that, uh, you know, more personal to you. But the energy over it is that it's starting to, to kind of ground itself, to look a little more stable. Let's do the King of Swords in the immediate future. There's another person that keep, there, there, there's another person that shows up here tied up to you energetically. It's not this one that's coming towards you. This is a different story. This is the one that keeps on popping into your readings so that you can get pissed off because they're not here. This is something that's still attached to you from someplace else. It could be the past there, somewhere. There, I keep on seeing it, but I'm like, yeah, no, uh, Gemini is good. They're they're doing their thing, and you are. But you're still doing your thing through the lens of whatever or whoever this was, I'm assuming, you know? So I can't keep on looking to the side and be like, yeah, there's a person that shows up here, keeps on showing up. That I don't see them here with you, but I see them in your energy in terms of tied up to you. Energetically, or you're tied up to them. So... This is another thing. If you are not making room for the new energy because you're still ho holding on to the previous energy, that's why that's not coming in. Oh no, I let it go, I let it go. How? If it's still showing up here. You let it go. You didn't let it go. Otherwise it wouldn't show up. <laughs> you know? So, no. Let me see what the universe has to close off for you. Four of Wands, the Strength card, the Two of Swords. You're confused. You're confused. You're still kind of stuck in your head about whatever happened within that situation that you let go. Um, so there's still a little bit of stuff going on through your mind around that. As long as you have that going on and, you know, they're occupying space in your mind there, rent-free, you're not over that. So whatever it is that you're thinking about in there, you know? So it kind of, it's, it's one of those things where you would have to start being honest with yourself there. And even if you have a let go, that's okay too. You, you'll get there if that's what you want, you know? But you gotta start being honest with yourself about this energy because it keeps on lingering. And it keeps on pulling you back in terms of not allowing you to move on to the next chapter, basically where 
new things await. But, you know, they're not here. What are you talking about? Yeah, they're here. You're not seeing them because you're busy. So, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye.